Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got a little project for ourselves. Um, we're going to need to clean this carpet here. It's not too dirty, but it does have some stains here and there and just generally dirty. So what we're going to be using is a Bissell Pro-Hit 2X Revolution. Hopefully this guy will be able to get the job done here. So we have an extra value here. I'm guessing it comes with all those things there. Unbeatable cleaning. Lightweight maneuverable, dries in about an hour, includes this antibacterial formula. So I guess it's made for pets mostly, but technically it's supposed to clean carpet and upholstery and I guess just stuff in your house. And here are all the things that it comes with. And it has a three year limited warranty. And this is the model number, 1550V. Anyways guys, so let's pop this thing open and see how easy it is to set it up and get it going see if we can clean this carpet over alright so we got phone number here to help stuff manuals that we might need we do have a quick start guide so that's good we probably need that maybe nozzle cleaning tool interesting alright here's some accessories this is the big brush a spraying nozzle stain destroyer Oh, interesting. Here we got carpet cleaning formula and we got some kind of professional cleaning formula. So we got a piece of a handle here, more pieces. Uh, okay, that's the hose. It does come with a bunch of stuff. Interesting. Alright guys, so this is actually a little bit of a more pleasant color than uh, I've seen before, like pink and purple and all kinds of weird stuff. So this is like a baby blue theme going on here. So it looks pretty nice overall. So here we got a bucket that comes out. So I'm guessing this is where all the dirt goes into. So this is probably not going to look pretty after a while. Okay, here we got the drain plug, looks like. Those are huge wheels. That is just monster wheels a little tiny holes down here not that big looks like we got a dual brush here and looks like that's where the suction is for the water or the extraction of water I guess the whole point is is that can it clean the carpet good alright so we got this handle I'm guessing it just goes into there yep there it goes alright guys so apparently there is a screw which looks like it's taped to the handle here that you have to put in the back of it. The step one is we click in the handle. Step two is we put in this plastic thing. So this goes somewhere around here. There we go, just like that. So that has to clip in there somehow. There we go. So it's like a little trim piece. Yeah, so now we can put the screw in there, which is right here. Tighten that up. All right, so once that's tight, um, now you got yourself a carrying handle here and looks like you wrap your cord around here So this bucket basically has an out port right here and it pushes down into there and that's how it goes So yeah guys don't forget to put the screw in because if you don't all of it could just fall apart When you're using it, so that's pretty important. All right, so the cable looks pretty reasonably long also So that's kind of nice and here on the front of it. There is a little cap that you pull up like that and then you can attach your hose to this. So I'm guessing this holes right here. Yeah, it looks like this one. It connects down here into the slot here. So I guess if you're going to use that accessory, this is where you would connect that. Alright guys, so let's grab the water tank here on the top and uh, go ahead and fill it with water. So it says the deep clean mode. I guess that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be using a lot more water. You fill it to here, right here. And then we're going to add about two ounces of our cleaning solution into here. So. Alright guys, so I filled up the container with water. It's actually hot water. And uh, some of it already bubbled down into the system, I guess. So we kind of went lower than our fill line. Alright, so I got the cleaner opened. So let's go ahead and pour some in. So we're trying to pour in about two ounces. Alright, so since we're doing deep clean, make sure you're in deep clean. And I think we're good to go. Um, I did forget to mention that there's a handle here that you push and actually as I'm pushing it I can see something some water moving in there 
So I'm guessing this little piece here is to recline. And then let's go head over to our corner over here. And the power button is right here on the side. Let's go ahead and push that. Alright, the vacuum. The cleaner is definitely loud. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, push the trigger here. So this is how much I went, about three feet here, white. And as you can see guys, that it's darker, so you can't really tell. So I guess we're gonna have to wait till it dries out to really see how much cleaner it is. But one thing that, you know, we can definitely tell is that, check out how dirty this water is that came out of the carpet here. So we're definitely gonna have to let this guy dry in order to see a little better. But I'm starting to get the feeling that this machine is more for maintaining your carpets than actually deep cleaning some really dirty stuff. So this is definitely no means a professional carpet cleaner. Around $200 is not gonna do a job of, you know, a $10,000 professional machine. So. All right, so it looks like this is getting full. So you can see it's not crazy dirty, but it's definitely dirty. Alright guys, so after about an hour or more of going back and forth, back and forth, I can actually tell the carpet is a lot cleaner. Let's see if I can get a little closer here guys. So this is the entrance where it would be pretty dirty and it's still moisty so I think this is going to take overnight to dry. But it's actually looking really good. Hopefully you guys can see the difference. So obviously we had some hard spots here and there, like over there that we still do a little bit. But a lot of it's actually gone, and I think when the carpet dries completely, it's actually going to become lighter. Now, one of the things that I noticed is that you definitely want to, like, do a spot, or maybe do the whole thing, and then do it again. The reason why is because the more the water sits in the carpet, the more it dissolves all the dirt and stuff. Because I noticed, actually, that my water was getting dirty and dirtier. I was just like, what in the world is going on? The chemicals are starting to, you know, go into the fibers and starting to uh, release the dirt. So it's actually coming up easier if it sits in the in the water a little bit anyways guys um, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow when it all dries up and then I'm gonna show you again so here's the before shot and here is tomorrow alright so it's the next day and you guys can see the carpet is looking good sorry we got a really bright spot here from the Sun coming through the window it actually guys dried up really well and it actually looks so much better to you so when it was wet it actually looked worse than it is now um, let's go to this corner over here. Uh, you can see that that spot is still kind of there, discoloring, but I think that was just in the carpet, so you can't do nothing about it. I would say that definitely is a success for this thing. So overall, thumbs up for this project. It turned out good. So if you got carpets in your house, this would be a good option, maybe once a month, maybe once a uh, every three months, to go over your carpets real quick. So actually... I was cleaning them on deep clean right here, but if you go to express clean, it sprays barely any water down. So you don't get the soaking wet carpet like a deep clean. And if you if you express clean it intervally on your carpets, I think your carpets will stay really nice and clean. So 
Anyways, guys, that'll be it for this video. If you're actually interested in one of these, um, there's a link in the description where you can get one. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. Also, check out my videos on this channel. I've got a lot of vacuum reviews, especially the shark vacuums that you might find interesting. And as always, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.